Welcome to Council Connection. I'm Sweetie Marbury, Mayor and Durango City Councilor. This program is designed to give you a snapshot of happenings at the most recent Durango City Council meeting. This time we look at the March 5th meeting. This meeting began with a number of proclamations and presentations. First, we proclaimed March 21st as Rosie the Riveter Day. It's a day that recognizes the role women played on the home front during World War II. Girls from three area Brownie and Girl Scout troops were on hand to accept the proclamation. They will also be involved in a special project later this month to honor area Rosies and Rosebuds. The Rosies are the women who actually went to, uh, either went to, to war as a nurse or they were the ones that worked in the factory as the mayor mentioned. But the Rosebuds are the daughters of the Rosies. And we're here, we brought Nancy more with us today because her mother worked in the factories and we're here to honor her as well um, as we all will be doing on March 21st. And we have several rosebuds in the in the in Durango, and we are looking for more, looking for some rosies to honor. And our troop uh, and other troops of Girl Scouts will be hosting a party on March 21st at the Elks Lodge to celebrate with a dance party for all the women who 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 went to war for, for our country. Next, we proclaimed March Athletic Training Month to recognize the valuable services athletic trainers provide to our active population. When we first started this, there were only a few of us in the community, uh, a handful of athletic trainers. And in the last seven years, we've grown quite a bit. So we're out there taking care of kids at every one of the high schools in the area. Uh, we've kind of extended that reach to take care of kids at the middle school. Um, we've extended an invite to the mayor to meet with us on the 11th, which he's graciously accepted. We have a brand new sports medicine facility, and it'd be a nice opportunity to see um, where we kind of work out of and then to meet some of the people that are taking care of kids in the community. We took a moment to recognize Durango Police K-9 Betty and her handler, Officer Justin Moore. Betty has proved invaluable since joining the force a little over a year ago. Uh, we're up to 97 deployments now. So a big city um, like Fort Collins, they claim you know, there are four dogs, five dogs that they have, do 600 deployments a year, which averages between 100 and 150 dog deployments a piece. So just in Little Durango, we're doing just as much, if not more. Durango police are hoping to add a second canine to the force and are presently raising money to help in that effort. You can contribute by going to DurangoGov.org and click Online Payments. Interim Police Chief Bob Bramer presented an impressive list of public safety awards handed out to officers and civilian personnel on the force. And lastly, we heard a presentation on MAPS, or Monitoring Avian Productivity and Survivorship. For the last five years, the program has been busy identifying and inventorying birds at Oxbow Preserve. So there are a lot of questions actually raised this year um, in relation to the fire and, and what was happening out there and what the birds were doing and probably some of the birds left um, and abandoned the nests. So a project like this uh, is meant to be long-term. Um, it's really difficult to say anything about bird populations with just one or two years of data, and you can see that reflected because of a lot of different environmental and other conditions that can, can affect things over the years. The acquisition and management of various open space lands by the city, a lot of the attention goes to recreation, which is great. We all love it, and it's very important. But one of the values that we don't spend a lot of time on is wildlife habitat. And I think that this is one uh, really important open space under the city's management where we have really special wildlife values. This habitat is, is very biologically rich, being right alongside the Animus River. Our consent agenda consisted of 11 routine items, none of which were removed and all were approved. There were no legislative or quasi-judicial hearings at this meeting. We did introduce two ordinances, one concerning the sign code update and the other abandoning a portion of public right-of-way on 28th Street. 
During reports and actions, City Manager Ron LeBlanc presented some interesting statistics about our recent snowstorms and their financial impact on the city. Between uh, the dates of February 17 and February 27, the following occurred. We plowed 6,333 miles. The total number of hours behind a plow were 655. The total cost for labor, equipment, and materials were $137,655. We've moved from the central business district 1,165 loads of snow. That calculates to 18,640 cubic yards of snow. For downtown, it was 192 hours to do this, and the total cost for the downtown snow removal was 48723 The total uh, snow plowing and snow removal cost year to date is $537,300. $37. Counselors also discussed and tried to clarify recent misinformation being presented concerning the financial needs of the city moving forward, and in particular to ballot issue 1A. Be sure to tune in and watch the League of Women Voters candidate and issue 1A forum live Monday, March the 11th at 5.30 p.m. If you miss it, you can watch it on DGov over the next few weeks after replays of City Council meetings or view it on demand at durangogov.org slash DGov under special programs. The city election is coming up and ballots will start arriving in mailboxes after March the 16th and must be in the city clerk's office by 7 p.m. Tuesday, April the 2nd. If you have questions, you can go online at durangogov.org slash election or call the clerk's office at 970-375-5010. And the Friends of the Library Spring Book Sale takes place Friday and Saturday, March the 15th and 16th. It's a great way to restock your personal book collections while supporting the Friends of the Library. Our next study session will be Tuesday, March the 12th at 4 p.m. Our next regular council meeting is Tuesday, March the 19th at 6.30 p.m. And that's Council Connection for the March 5th Durango City Council meeting. I'm City Councilor and Mayor Sweetie Marbury. Thanks for joining us. And remember, you can always contact your city councilors via email at citycouncil at durangogov.org.